Whether you're a delivery driver trying to find the quickest route, a hiker exploring remote trails, or a pilot navigating through the skies, GPS technology plays a vital role in our daily lives. GPS stands for Global Positioning System, a constellation of 24 satellites orbiting within medium Earth orbit that beam down signals that GPS receivers here on Earth receive to pinpoint any location on Earth. However, this technology is not immune to threats. Hackers can attack into these systems to cause far-reaching disruptions and significant infrastructural damage. Websites such as gpsjam.org allow you to visualize levels of GPS interference, enabling users and researchers to pinpoint hotspots with high concentrations of targeted attacks. Hackers can interfere with GPS signals using various techniques, including spoofing and jamming. Spoofing involves broadcasting false GPS signals that mimic legitimate ones, tricking GPS receivers into providing incorrect location information. Jamming, on the other hand, involves transmitting radio signals that overpower or disrupt GPS signals, rendering GPS receivers unable to receive accurate positioning data. In January this year, reports of GPS jamming within a 250 nautical mile radius of the Baltic Sea were tied to disruptions within navigation systems. Extensive research by signals intelligence researcher An San and further analysis by John Wiseman indicate repeated short attacks against GPS satellites. The research measured for Receiver Autonomous Integrity Monitoring, short for RAIM, which is a standardized metric used to check the integrity of satellite signals. Fluctuations of these values are indicative of an attack on a satellite. The effects of GPS disruption also cascade onto other existing technologies that rely on GPS, such as ADSB. ADSB, short for Autonomous Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, is a surveillance technology used to monitor airplanes as they fly by allowing them to broadcast relevant telemetry, such as their airspeed and altitude. In the Baltic jamming incident, disturbances to signals also cause strange ADSB values to pop up, since ADSB relies on GPS to accurately determine aircraft positions and transmit this information to ground stations and other aircraft. The attack caused many flights that were being monitored by ADSB to lose navigational accuracy. In order to analyze how the Baltic jamming impacted ADSB transmissions, I'll be using a free online tool called Kepler GL, which allows you to perform geospatial analysis on a dataset. Thanks to the research done by Alsan, I was able to gather a CSV file including ADSB transmissions that occurred during the Baltic jamming. In order to monitor the current state of GPS satellites, you can access NASA's Space Geodesy data stream, which includes live data on the status of individual GPS satellites, including their orbits, system status, and signal integrity. Jammed ADSB broadcasts show disruptions in transmitted aircraft positions and flight data erratic or inconsistent signals, and potentially missing or incorrect information. On the other hand, spoofing on an ADSB broadcast involves the transmission of falsified aircraft positions and flight data, deceiving ground stations and other aircraft receivers into believing the false information. For a full video on how hackers can attack ADSB systems and a tool I built to detect these systems, check the description or click on the card in the upper right corner. Another method for spotting GPS interference is to monitor live ADSB streams using public sites such as ADSB Exchange in order to monitor and visualize current air traffic. Overall, understanding the intricacies of GPS systems and potential threats they face such as hacking, spoofing, and jamming is crucial for protecting the safety of navigation systems worldwide. If you are interested in checking out any of the research or tools used in this video, we included all the relevant links in the description. Thanks so much for watching.